that girl I think of avocado toast, matcha tea, matcha latte, yoga, meditation, waking up at 5am, productivity, journaling, reading books, someone who basically has their life together almost like perfectionism and just romanticizing your life. Essentially that girl is a trend, is an aesthetic. I feel like that girl infiltrates every single social media platform. I am yes gonna try and create and embody the concept, the ideology of that girl in this video but Yeah, so I've never been a 5am morning person, so we're just gonna skip ahead to like 7am, fast forward a couple of hours when I actually woke up. This is a more reasonable hour for me. 5am is just never gonna happen consistently for me. It might be your thing and that's totally fine. Something that I really want to emphasise in this video is that everyone is different, you know? Some people will enjoy waking up at 5am. I'm not one of those people. We're all so different and so this is my version of that girl. So as I said at the start, when I think of that girl, journaling comes to mind and I also think of someone who is pretty organised. You know, I do enjoy doing some of the stereotypical that girl things, like I keep my bullet journal updated, I plan my weeks, and I like to work out usually in the mornings. However, I'm not doing that to be someone else. You know, I'm not trying to be that girl. I do it for myself. I do it because it makes me happy, you know, and apparently standing on my head makes me happy. <laughs> Now, for this video, I did decide to spice up my breakfast. I made some blueberry coconut overnight oats. It was so good. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I made it the evening before because you just leave it to soak overnight. I just made it up as I went along. There's no official recipe, but I can leave something down below if you guys are interested. And then in the morning, I just chopped up a banana, added some hemp seeds, and that was it really. It was really simple, but actually tasted so good. On my Instagram and on my story quite a while back now, I asked you guys what first came to mind when somebody said that girl. I don't need my glasses when I'm reading close text but anyway you guys sent in so many responses okay wakes up at 6am to read perfect discipline productive super productive success and happy avocado on toast yoga cleaning lighting candles and making everything cozy someone who has their life together productivity matcha the one popular girl in high school that all the boys want to be with a girl with her life on balance something that is unrealistic yes waking up early and working out first thing yoga and morning walks disciplined that girl is pretty the main character yes 100 percent. perfect girl life together most of the time pinterest yes exactly pinterest you see what i mean like the recurring themes it's this unrealistic perfection social media is a highlight reel you only see the parts of someone's life that they want you to see. We're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. You'll only see that part of someone's day when they're making an aesthetic looking coffee with this fancy machine, but you won't see them if they're crying. You won't see them if they're scrolling for too long on social media. You don't see that because we pick and choose what we want to share. And that's okay, but we often forget that. We trick ourselves into thinking that that person has their life together. That person is perfect we want to be like them we want to do everything like them but 
No, like that's the furthest from the truth. And so to bring back a touch of realism to this video, I'm gonna show you that I scrolled on social media on my phone before I worked out that morning. I didn't show you that, but I did that. I didn't show you making a total mess doing mundane tasks or when I looked like this working out, you know? <sighs> oh. Oh. Huh. Ugh. That was rubbish. Yes. No touching. Yes. Hold it. Squeeze everything. Yes. Relax. Oh, we got hair legs. Oh well. We're gonna attempt to make a matcha latte. Let's hope we have matcha. I maybe should have made this tab with breakfast, but I knew it was gonna be quite a complex process so we need full concentration at the back of the cupboard we found some matcha it's proper matcha oh forgot we had this I just made my first ever matcha latte. I haven't even bought a matcha latte from like a coffee shop. So I don't really know what matcha tastes like. I think I've had it before, but I'm intrigued. Oh, there's bubbles on top. Ooh. Mmm. That's actually quite nice. It's actually a really nice colour and I put it in this glass so you could see it. I just quickly found this recipe on Minimalist Baker. You're supposed to whisk it quite gently, which I obviously wasn't doing with that huge whisk. I'm sure we had a Bambi one, I just don't know where it went. But anyway, the matcha hasn't really dissolved too well because my whisking was obviously really bad. You might not be able to see but there are bits of matcha that haven't dissolved. I know you can get those electric whisks that are quite cool and they like add froth. I got bubbles, not froth. Let me know how you make your matcha. Do you make matcha tea or a latte? I don't know. But you know, cheers to the first matcha latte. Mmm. That's nice. Matcha does have caffeine in it, I am aware. The other day, as you guys may have seen, I drank a whole can of Coke before I went to bed. And it didn't hit me that it contained caffeine. But I'm drinking this in the morning, so hopefully it won't affect my sleep later on because I don't normally have caffeine anyway. I would make that again. I thoroughly enjoyed that matcha latte and after I did some biology work on this day I just went on a walk with no one other than myself. It was good. It was great. And I'm not even being sarcastic. I really enjoy just going on walks in nature by myself to be honest with you. Now I love yoga and stretching, I've grown up dancing so I love it for that reason. However, I'm not going to sit here and say that I do yoga every single day. And you know, the reason why I was on my mat today was because you guys, we had no power for like two hours. So yeah, I kind of felt a bit lost, which sounds so stupid to say. But I decided to just do some yoga, listen to a podcast and yeah, I kind of fit the aesthetic for this video. And obviously I'm going to make avocado toast in this video. It's literally the first thing I thought of when I started planning this video. So yeah, I decided to make like avocado toast with sweet potato and just salad. statement to make about toast right i don't know if it's an unpopular opinion but we're here to find out i think the best piece of toast even though this is yes very thin is always the crust i love the crust of toast it's the best bit does anyone feel the same or is it just me i was talking to a friend about this the other day and they were like what 
you like the crust? And I was like, yes, I love the crust. So please tell me down below, am I the only one? Well, I know I'm not the only one because Emily and I both feel the same. It's always the best and especially when it's thick. Mm. This is the current state of my bed right now. There are just clothes everywhere. They kind of like jump between being spread across the bed and just being piled over there in the corner. I was editing over there. Milka and I were just cuddling in the blanket and so I've just chucked it here now and I kind of think I need to organise this a bit. I put tracksuit bottoms on because the leggings were just a bit too cold but I actually sound like such a hypocrite because I now have the window open and the heating off because I'm too hot now. Well, my upper body is hot, my legs not hot. Does that make sense? Probably not. But anyway, what did I want to say? Yeah, so I'm going to talk more about journaling in a different video. But in my journal this morning, I wrote down some things that I can work on myself. Because I thought it was quite apt for today, you know, me filming this video, trying to be that girl, even though I'm basically, you know, trying to say that you don't have to be that girl. You shouldn't want to be someone else just because everyone on social media is conforming to that same stereotype or painting their lives to look that way, you know? Let me get it to remind myself of what we wrote down. You're also probably wondering, Holly, why was I writing in this book that has lined paper when I like plain paper? Very valid point and I feel the same way. This is like the perfectionist in me coming out right now. I don't want to like scribble in my bullet journal and I can't scribble using my fountain pen. I don't know why. And when I journal, I just want to be able to scribble stuff down and I can do that with a biro. And I felt like I could just do it in this book. So, you know, this doesn't have to be kept super neat. It sounds really stupid. There's no logic to it, really. But yeah, what did I write down anyway? Getting to the point. I want to maintain a healthy balance between my work and social life. I am really working towards something that's a lot healthier than in the past. The second one, spend less time on screens or otherwise social media. Yeah, especially in the evenings. I sometimes just find myself like scrolling a bit too much and for no reason. Keep trying new things. Yep, I really want to do that and keep that up, you know? Ironic, but wake up a bit earlier. <laughs> Lol, yeah, um, definitely not 5 a.m. I think the point I'm trying to make here is just get into a better routine. Like some days I wake up at 7 a.m., other days it might be like 9 a.m. If you like get into a routine, it will make it easier, you know? I just feel like because at the moment I just chop and change. And it's just very hard for my body to adjust. Anyway, five, be more creative with my food. Yeah, I'm really working on this at the moment and I just don't want to resort back to my meals I have all the time, you know? Six, look after my hair. Yeah, because we've found a method that works. I know my hair is quite frizzy right now. But on Saturdays, hopefully, I'm going to be, like, going through my big routine, the curly girl routine. Seven, do more strength training. Yep, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my injury and all of that stuff in a different video that's coming soon. And number eight, be nice to my family. Yeah, I just need to remember and remind myself sometimes that my family, well, family will always be there. Always. But those are my things that I was reflecting on this morning you guys want to note some things down for yourself for literally yourself only and for no one else feel free to do that but i thought i would share these and now i'm gonna organize this uh bed spread of clothes now i'm not quote unquote woke i don't know everything about this but i do know that the bad girl stereotype lacks a lot of diversity and that's what can be really problematic about these trends and these aesthetics i think it's important that we recognize that and you know we see through and we see through the cracks in this picture perfect painting of that girl and just coming back to how i tried to embody this concept on this day this one day you know i did some meditation i went to bed after i had my dinner and i just lay in bed doing some reading which i do every day but again, it did fit this aesthetic, I suppose you could say. I get it. I get it can be inspirational. I get that people find motivation in wanting to better themselves. But why do you want to be someone something that is so unrealistic? I hate to break it to you, but like, why? Why are you trying to fit that mold? You're already that girl. Why are you trying to be that girl? you are living your own life and if you want to make changes make improvements that's fine you can work on being your best self but you're already that girl why are you going to change to be someone you're not and everyone can find their own happiness in doing what they want to do you don't have to try and be someone else if we were all clones that would be so boring if you take anything away from this video i want you to go away remembering that 
you don't have to be anyone else you shouldn't want to be that girl because you are already your own unique self don't compare yourself to other people online don't try and be like someone else and just remember that what makes you happy won't make someone else happy necessarily you're gonna live your own best life if you choose to focus on yourself if you instead try and fixate on being someone else you're never gonna be the best version of yourself and that's the only thing we should want to strive for you know you are you and that's most important okay 